Can we talk for a minute? What up, y'all? It's me again. So the other day I was having a conversation uh, with a Facebook friend of mine, and she kind of, you know, she kind of checked me a little bit. She was like, you do all this complaining, you do all this trolling. Um, why not provide value instead of uh, just talking? So, you know, I thought to myself, I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe she's right. Maybe she has a point. Maybe, you know, instead of just bitching all the time and, you know, talking shit, why don't I put people on game, you know? So today... Um, we're going to talk a little bit about stocks. And first of all, just a disclaimer, I'm not a stockbroker. Um, I'm a licensed mortgage loan originator, so I can go in depth about mortgages and home ownership, but I'm not going to go too far in depth about stocks, but I'm just going to give you like a 40,000 foot view, you know, just so you can get started. If you have a couple dollars, whether you have $10, whether you have a hundred dollars or whether you have like a grand, so you can dive into it. Cause a lot of people don't even know where to get started. So one of the things that kind of got me on this whole, um, yo, I need to p put people on game thing is I was looking at a post on uh, Facebook and you could look at it right here. And really what it talked about was, is it a problem with, you know, buying your kids, you know, nice shoes, as you can see in the post, like it's toddler shoes. So you see Nikes, you see uh, Vans, you see uh, Jordans, you see different things like that. So, you know, if you Google these shoes, you'll see like, you know, the kids version, the toddler version are like $60, $40, $50. And my whole stance with it was, it's stupid. It's idiotic. It's a bad idea. And it's part of the reason why uh, the black community is where we are. So like, I think some projections say by 2040, um, black wealth, black net worth will be zero. At zero dollars and zero cents. Last time that I looked at a share of Nike stock, it was trading for around $80, $80, $90. Um, so it's time we change our mindset to, I'm gonna spend $300 on, you know, these new drawers they just dropped. When for that $300, you can own three shares of Nike stock. Three shares of Nike stock. So now instead of going to the Foot Locker, or going to your local mall and you hating on the dude who's walking out with four bags of shoes, now you could be, them shit's fire, buy some more, buy some more, because that affects how much money you make. So now, instead of being a consumer, you're now an investor. So we're gonna jump into uh, my favorite app so far, Robinhood. So I started on Cash App with a few dollars and then I kind of graduated to Robinhood and Robinhood is kind of a good intermediate level. So you can learn about stocks, learn about the company, but it's not as in depth as companies like Webull or E-Trade or you know, Yahoo Finance or whatever um, other companies are out there. So uh, to jump into mine, and you'll see it right here. So the example we're looking at is Tesla. So uh, this morning I was checking Tesla, this is about, uh, 940. I was looking at Tesla. It was 731.64. So what that means is that's the stock price. So that means that Tesla right now, a share of Tesla cost $731.64 at that time. Now I was lucky. I bought it two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I paid $425. For Tesla, four hundred twenty-five and sixty-one cents. So, pretty much, I've made money. Now, if you click the link in my bio, you can download uh, Robinhood through my link, and you can kind of follow along and get started. You'll get a free stock. I'll get a free stock too. It's not going to be something too expensive. It'll probably be like four, maybe six dollars, but it gets you started to see how it works. And then in the green, you'll see how much it's moved um, since the stock market opened. So. It's important to know the stock market opens every single day, well, Monday through Friday, from 9, I'm sorry, 9.30 to 4. And before 9.30, you'll have some pre-market movements, which just means, you know, people are buying and selling before it opens. And then after 4, you'll have aftermarket. So aftermarket lasts between 4 and 6. And then you'll see a lot of movement there, too. 
but I like to just focus on the 930 to four, okay? You'll see the chart. Now the chart, really all it does is it tracks the price. So you'll see it kind of like an EKG. It goes up, down, up, down. So if the price goes up, it'll go up. Price goes down, it'll go down. Now, when I took the screenshot, it was, you know, it had just opened. So like, it might be down right now, I haven't checked. Um, but you know, it's gonna go up again, gonna go down again, gonna go up again. So you wanna buy low and you wanna sell high. That's, that's what all that means. So below that, you'll see where it says 1D, 1M, one, uh, I'm sorry, 1W, 1M, uh, 3M, 1Y, and 5Y. All that means is one day, so that's a chart for one day, one week, chart for one week, one month, chart for one month, three months, one year, five years. So as you change it, you can kind of see the, the chart is essentially zooming out. So you can get an idea of, okay, maybe today the stock price for Tesla was going down, but over the last year, has it been going up or has it been trending down? Over the past five years, has it been trending up or has it been trending down? And then you'll start to see how the world and politics affects stock prices in the stock market. So Trump can say some dumb shit and the stock market crashes, or he can say some positive stuff and the stock market goes up, or you know, we go to war and you see how that affects certain stock prices, or you know, people stop going to movie theaters and you see how that affects other stock prices. So again, we're using Tesla as an example. Below that, you'll see your position. So for me, my position is I just own one share. So I ain't got big money like that. So all I could afford at the time was one share of Tesla. It cost me right there, 425.61. And then my equity value, that's pretty much how much it cost me and how much it's gone up on top of that. The statistics are just, you know, some things you could look at to get an idea of if, if it's is a good company to buy right now? Is it time to sell? You know, should I, um, should I keep watching it or is it, you know, am I not really feeling it? So again, using Tesla as an example, right? So when the stock market opened today, Tesla was six, 698.58. My eyes are bad. Um, and then below that, today's high, that's as high as it's been up until the time that I took the screenshot. Today's low, that's the lowest it's been. And then you'll see 52 WK, all that stands for is 52 weeks. So that's as high as it's been in a year. And then that's as low as it's been in a year. So people who are more in depth with this, like my boy, you know, AJ Gladney, if you really, really want to dive in, I can set you up with him and send you his way. Um, they go into the dividends, they go into the volume, they go into all other metrics that you can use to figure out if this is the right stock for you, or if this is the right time to buy or not. All the way at the bottom, um, it'll show you, like for me, I own a share, so it'll show me my history with um, trading Tesla. And then below that, it'll go into the information of Tesla. So for companies that you'll see that you might not know anything about, I mean, Tesla's pretty popular, so um, for companies you might not know anything about, um, you'll be able to get some information about them. Is this a solar company? Is this a pharmaceutical company? Is this a weed company? Weed stock is a good buy. Trust me. So, um, so yeah, so that's um, the high level view of that. Like I said, click the link in the bio. Um, well, my bio, my comments or whatever to um, get started with that free share. Um, and the big takeaway with this is stocks are a reflection of the world. When something is happening in the world, it could affect the stock price. Um, and we need to, when you see old dudes read newspapers, you know, just watching CNN, watching Fox News, partly it's because, you know, they might be interested in that stuff. But uh, the other piece of it, too, is that if they have money in the stock market, if they have 401k pension, they need to know what's going on in the world to know if it's time to sell, if it's time to buy, if it's time to just chill. So, like, you get to start seeing things on that high level.